Welcome back to Layla's World. I'm Layla. I'm a vlogger who does all kinds of like arts and crafts and stuff. So that's better. Um, I'm. I just got a new sketchbook, and it's a little bit hard for me to, to film this because I'm just using my iPad and I'm just filming alone. But sometime soon, when I get a new memory card, I'll be using my camera, and that'll be easier. So, um. This is my sketchbook. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's by Strathmore, and it has drawing paper. I believe it's 80 pounds, and it's a very nice, like, smooth sketchbook. I got it at this nice card store. Hold on. I also bought a new pencil. I love 4B, so that's what I bought. Ooh. Uh, the reason I got chose this one was I tested it in the store and it was really nice and it was only 84 cents because they had it on sale. So it's a Gen General Pencil Co. Kimberly 525 4B pencil made in the USA. And it's a really nice pencil. So that's what I would be sketching with. So yeah, and here I'm actually going to be um, filling this page, just probably with like testing different mediums, so I'll hold it up after I test them. So we already know that this pencil works well on it. And now we can test some other things. We can te test Stedler Mars Graphics 3000 markers and any other things that I might be using. It. So they don't bleed through. This one's a bit out of ink, so it's not a good example, but if you look on the other side, it's not really showing much. This is sort of a filling the first page of my sketchbook, except it's not the actual first page, because it's also like my private journal, so I just did some writing on the other page, and a bit of drawing. This is technically my first like full illustration stuff. I don't know if I'm going to do a full illustration. So now I'm testing an Artist's Loft Fundamentals colored pencil. It seems to work pretty well on this. So, so far, lots of different mediums work on it. So now I'm going to test a micron pen. This micron pen exploded a little bit, but looks well. Micron zero one. So I do recommend getting a sketchbook um, with drawing paper from Strathmore. I really like 80 pound, it's just it's my personal favorite. So now I'm going to test, um, let's see, I can't remember if this Copic marker has any ink left in it, so I'm just going to test it. It has a little bit. I'll see if it bleeds through. Yes, Copic marker does bleed through, which is a bit of a problem. So here's that. And then... Over here. So now I'm a little bit scared to test out my other ones. We can do some Ardenfly. I have a big set of Ardenfly markers, they're my favorite. Okay, so the Ardenfly sort of bleeds through, but might just be because it's a lighter color. So I'm interested to test a slightly darker Ardenfly marker. I guess I'll just test maybe this brownish color. So it looks like that. And I'm not going to flip to see yet because I do want, also want to test a chameleon marker. So here's these different like swatches. And then on the back, yes, they do bleed through. And I am planning 
to maybe get a an art subscription box and start testing them. So you can look forward to that, but I don't know if my mom will let me. So I'm just kind of sketching in the sketchbook. And this might be a time that you want to sketch in like your sketchbook. And I just want to know what should my next like art like what should my next video be about? I'll just put a poll up above. Um, and then you can let me know what you what you think the next video should be about. Like, should I do another kind of sketchbook video? Or what? So, yeah. I do really like this sketchbook. So, bye! Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already.